Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking a look at mobile development uh, using Zen Studio and Zen Framework. Now, sometimes what you often hear is, you know, oh, I don't want to have a big IDE. You know, a big IDE is uh, it takes uh, RAM, it accesses the disk too much, it's slow, all this kind of other stuff. But there's a lot of good reasons why you would want to use an IDE, and I'm going to show you one here today as well as talk a little bit about Zen Framework and mobile development. Um, so if you're building on a, uh, if you're building for the mobile platform, obviously you want to have some way that you want to test it. And the way we often test things is we would then load up a phone and, or bring up our own phone, you know, go to the web page and test it and all that kind of other stuff, which is really kind of a pain. Now, one of the reasons why we chose uh, Eclipse for being our foundation for Zen Studio was because uh, what the Eclipse ecosystem gave us was lots of possibilities, lots of things that we could use and make our own IDE better. And in this case, um, I think we've actually got something cool here because uh, the Android SDK directly connects in with Eclipse. Because it directly connects in with Eclipse, it also directly connects in with Zen Studio. If I go to my Zen Studio here, um, I've already got it set up. I'm not going to show you how because those are things that uh, there's plenty of other information out there on the web. Um, but if we go to click on that, I have an Android 2.1 um, ready to go here. And all I got to do is click on start, hit launch. And we see here now that our Android uh, uh, machine is starting to get up and running. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Um, so I wanted to let this get started while I started talking about mobile. Now, when you're working on a mobile platform, you have two options. You have one option, build one entire site for a browser. Your other option is to build one entire site for your, <laughs> for your browser and for your, um, uh, your mobile platform. The other one is to make your site more intelligent, give it the ability to figure out Am I dealing with a mobile application or am I dealing with a browser-based application? And with Zen Framework 1.11, we actually have um, that ability to make that kind of determination. And we've actually made it quite easy to uh, integrate in with this. This is done by our integration with a, uh, a mechanism called Werfel. It's W-U-R-F-L. And what it basically does is it provides a lot of the capabilities that we have for uh, multiple different mobile platforms. Now, if we go to this website here, which is obviously a test version of the website, obviously you can see that we're running on a browser here. But if we go here to our Android SDK, we'll bring up a browser as well. And we'll go to, not what I wanted, ah! I just love live coding stop and we're going to go to a url this is i set up a, a dns that goes back to my local web server so we're running from the virtual android machine and going back to the virtual uh, web server on my local device we go here and we bring it up and uh, <laughs> this seems to like to replicate a, a slow uh, data connection which is probably a good thing but as you can see it's really kind of uh uh, everything's small, you can't really see it very well, and I'm going to hit Control F12, which allows us to flip it, and even so, you can, it's, it's still, it's, it's usable, but it's still slow, and, you know, it, it's still not really all that great of a user experience, because, you know, we really want to get, we don't have any content coming up yet, all we have is some stuff, there we go, okay, so the page came up, you know, it kind of looks a little bit weird, because it's really, it's scaling down, all that kind of other stuff. So what we want to do is we want to make our website mobile aware. And I'm using a Zen Framework application here, so you know, no surprise there. And so what I can do to make it mobile aware is to plug in with uh, the Werfel adapter. And now I'm not going to go through the, uh, the setting up of the Werfel adapter simply because we've already got documentation on how to do that. You go to Zen Framework uh, or framework.zen.com and you have some examples here about how to set it up. Um, and so just follow this and you'll get it up and running. But the cool thing is that not only do we have the Werfel adapter set up to use in Zen Framework, we've actually got it set up to run as a, a Zen application based resource. And the way we do that is we can simply go to our configuration here and set 
these three settings here, which will you know call the, the individual Werfel uh, library uh, and the configuration and kind of get it up and running. Because And what this does is it will now uh, instantiate that resource and make it accessible to us. So the way we're going to do this is if we go up here, you'll see that I have um, a couple of uh, uh, plugins set up. And actually, this is a, an old one. Uh, we'll change, change this to context because that's the name of the, this new class that I'm uh, uh, working with here. And what we do, we're doing here is we're just saying, you know, this is a plugin. We want it to run every request because we want to check is every request, is it coming in from a uh, mobile device? And so we'll go to our context here and I've already got it set up. And I'm gonna do a dispatch loop startup just simply because I wanna catch it before it actually executes um, uh, uh, the view renderer, which technically, you know, we could put it in a different place, but this is right before any logic occur logic occurs. So we can make um, inline changes to our logic based on whether or not this is a mobile uh, platform or not. So the way we do it is we need to access our bootstrap. So bootstrap equals zend controller front get instance and get Param, and we're going to get the bootstrap. We have our bootstrap. So now what we want to do is we want to get the user agent. This is all based off of a component called Zend HTTP user agent, which is new in uh, Zend framework 111. So we go to call it user agent equals bootstrap get resource and user agent. This is going to get the resource that we predefined in our ini file. Then I'm going to do another one here called device equals user agent get device. Now what this is going to do is if we were to do um, like a var dump on this we would actually see an awful lot of information. Um, I'll leave that to you because you won't be able to see it on the video here. But what this will do is it'll actually give us the ability to check some very basic things. So if device get type equals mobile, then layout get MVC instance set layout mobile. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this doesn't break um, our original website. So we come up here and you know, you know, everything looks pretty good. But now let's go back to our mobile device here and reload this up one more time. Let's see if this actually took hold. Like I said, it takes a little bit of time to do this over using the, uh, the virtual machine. But we see here now that I have a completely different layout um, than I had earlier on. I can you know, scroll through this. As you can see, it's much cleaner um, because we want to minimize the amount of uh, uh, bandwidth that we use here. And we can click on one of them and wait for a little bit. I'm sure there's a way that we can actually speed this up. But now I can go through here and you see, same thing again. I go through here and it's my, uh, I have the mobile version of my website up here. You also see here that I uh, reduced the number of items that are available on this title bar. All that's done just by simply checking to see whether or not we're using a mobile device. I can go down here and uh, <laughs> see I've got a little bit, uh, got some uh, formatting to work out here. Um, but it's still the same website. Um, got here why I don't think type uh, hinted for each loops and you see all this pretty much ready to go so here you have uh, the basic site I did not actually change much functionality I just changed um, uh, one or two places I you know, made some checks for uh, whether or not we we're running a mobile device but beyond that this is pretty much all CSS and then a uh, lightweight mobile um, uh, MVC layout instance which is uh, significantly smaller than the, the main one, which has you know a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Uh, so with that, I mean that's really all you need to do in order to uh, enable your website using mobile. Of course, you know do full testing and all that kind of other stuff. Um, but this is a great way using a combination of Zen Framework, uh, Zen Studio, as well as the Android SDK to be able to enable you 
to build um, mobile enabled websites with a relative amount of ease. That's all I wanted to show you. So uh, have yourselves a good day and I hope to see you at another Zend uh, video sometime in the near future.